In any case, we've really got to move along. I understand, Mr. Kersey, that property is racist. Property is obviously racist. Remember, I should have known. Remember, equity is what they want in your house. It's not about equality. It's about mm -hmm. the equity that you have in your home. Property, a uh, professor claims property is racist, excuses property destruction as reacting to racism. This story came about because it's the two-year anniversary, uh, May 25th of uh, George, George Floyd, George Floyd dying laying, of a laying, No, laying down his life for all his fellow blacks. <laughs> That's what he did. He was a hero. He was... Uh, well... <laughs> yes, please. Proceed. Yes, yes, yeah. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's definitely... Um, Interesting way of looking at George uh -huh. Floyd. Well, according to an assistant professor at Boston University, property is racist. The Black Lives Matter riots following the death of George Floyd are ultimately excusable. Seda Grundy, an associate professor at Boston University's Department of Sociology and Program in African American Studies, was one of the featured members of the BU community in a Twitter thread posted uh, this past Wednesday. Uh, and of course, that was the two-year anniversary uh, of Floyd's death. Are we to assume that this is an African American as? Yes. Okay. African American. Yes. African American female. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, if we're going to talk about George Floyd and really understand it, then we need to understand the community reactions to it. Grundy says in the video, and we often hear politicians, we hear civic leaders from inside Black communities and from outside of them as well. We hear President Biden say, "You know, I understand your frustration, but don't destroy property." Grundy continues in the video. Quote, well, when you say that to black people who historically have been property, one of our greatest weapons was the looting of ourselves as property from the system of slavery. And what we see in communities is they are reacting to the very racism, what we call property. Uh, we know about how uh, there was hundreds of millions of dollars in property damage in over a thousand locations during the time span of the Black Lives Matter uh, riots. That was according to a report by Fox News. Uh, Grundy apparently considers the riots and property damage understandable. She even excuses the actions, asking Americans not to judge or make assumptions about those involved in destruction. She said this, I think it's really important for people who see reactions of communities to not judge and make assumptions about what is good and not good reaction and not actually re-victimize communities by saying mm -hmm. there's an acceptable and a not acceptable way to huh. react. So we're not to judge. Everything they do is good just because uh, they're black. Now, this is not the first time she's made some interesting comments, Mr. Mm -hmm. Taylor. Mm -hmm. She faced an online backlash for comments she made about white people, according to a Boston Globe article. In 2015, she repeatedly, reportedly tweeted, quote, Why is white America so reluctant to identify white college males as a problem population? Question mark. Hmm. End quote. I guess and, because they're not. Quote, Every MLK week, I commit myself to not spending a dime in white-owned businesses. And every year, I find it nearly impossible. End quote. Well, that's up to her. Okay. She so there you are. Us. I can tell she loves us. And she's at BU? She is at Boston University. Boston University. Well, a credit Sociology to Sociology Associate okay. Professor. Okay. Well, property is racist. Well, you'll be delighted to know. You know, we should probably just stop these stories because everything's racist after all. But